oftentimes those who have a lot of power, especially those who oppose Jesus and Christianity, they look big, they look scary, they look like they, they can destroy you, they, they, their numbers are so many as the grain of sand, and, and you think that they are, they are just, uh, they, they, they don't lose sleep over you and, and Jesus at night. They do. They do. You may never see it. The, eternity is written on the hearts of men. There's no atheist out there that's so bold that, that they're utterly confident in their atheism. There's not. Someone will say they are, but yeah, wait till they start seeing the hand of God in their life. They start to question. They start to doubt. They start to be, you know, confused. We even see it throughout uh, uh, history or even, even Herod. Even, even, even in, in, in New Testament, what we see with, like, with John the Baptist, they were terrified of John the Baptist because of his prophetic preaching ministry. Yeah, he cut off his head, but it wasn't out of, uh, out of joy and gladness. It was out of, out of fear. We even see throughout the, the, the Acts when they're like, hey, we need to just stop persecuting, stop, you know, shut this church up because, you know, we might be opposing God. And if we are, then like, he's just going to keep rolling through our camp like a barley loaf and flatten us out. And that's what he does. Even in nations that, that begin to oppress Christians, what they end up finding out is that the more they oppress Christians, the further the gospel spreads. I need you to see this, that oftentimes Christians are, so, are, are, are intimidated by those who oppose them. I need you to know this. It's very likely that, that those who oppose Jesus are just as terrified of you and of the gospel as you are perhaps of them. 